impact player for us. And, uh, you know, aside from his points, uh, to me, the what we're getting back is his energy and his, his work ethic and, you know, how, how hard he plays, how hard he works, which, you know, filters through through the rest of the team. Well, and compete level, which is what you're always looking for, is there a guy who's got a higher compete level on your team right now than, than Brandon? Uh, he's a pretty determined player uh, when he gets out on the ice. So he plays with that uh, passion, the tenacity that we're – and we're looking for that I think is, is, is a big part of our identity, but is, is, is missing some nights. After Boston, you said you were looking forward to not only being at home, but having an opportunity to practice and work on some things. Do you think you've tweaked some things to your satisfaction? Well, we didn't tweak anything. We just, again, showed the guys some clips and went over some things that, uh, that we had done in the past, whether it was earlier this year or, or last season, things that were missing from our game and, and things that we weren't executing and doing. Uh, and then we worked on it in practice. So we'll, we'll see if we if we got through and see if we can apply it to our game tonight. Thoughts on Brandon again? Um, putting him on the line with Blake and Matt, the reasonings behind that. What are you trying to get out of them? Uh, it's no different than any other of our lines. We want the the work ethic and hard play, and uh, we're trying to find some some balance with the, with our three lines too. As far as you know, maybe. Uh, guys that, that can crash and bang, and, and other guys that can that can finish. So we're looking for for balance from all three lines. Todd uh, Johansson, we don't see him much. Um, tell us how he's developed and, and how far he's come in terms of uh, you know, reaching potential. I still think there's a long ways to go for Ryan as far as potential, uh, but this year he's taken I, I, I think a couple big steps. In his in his career, his hockey career, and to me, he's more engaged in the games, and it looks like he wants the puck more. He wants the puck through the neutral zone. He wants the puck in the offensive zone, um, and uh, uh, he's engaged physically, getting into the corners in front of the net, and he's not shying away from from those those scrums that happen in in hockey. How about your opposition tonight, Todd? Again, a team we don't get a chance to see early at all. Uh, you know, I, I just went through, watched some some clips of theirs, and. Uh, you know, number 26 is a dangerous player. They're missing 91, which is, uh, I think you'd think that their team would suffer a little bit, but it doesn't look like they've suffered much. Uh, missing him from their lineup. Uh, look, vertical game through the neutral zone. Uh, uh, you know, they, they'll try to stretch you out and use all three lanes. But an attacking, aggressive offensive team. And uh, uh, again, uh, lots of challenges for us today. Uh, we talked to uh, Tuvi, obviously, and he mentioned the critical nature of this stretch here. You know, we passed the quarter pole. Now we're a third of the way in. Do you look at that at all, and do you understand that each with each game, it becomes more critical? Well, it's it's every, every game is critical. Yeah. Every game is critical. I, I think sometimes you get lax that you have uh, 60 games left or 50 games left, and you in the back of your mind you think, well, that's still lots of time. And uh, I think. We should recognize and know, based on what we went through last season, the importance of the games and the importance of every game. Uh, you know, missing the playoffs by one point. So this game is just as important as every other game. I know t games are dwindling away, so it does put a little bit more emphasis on it. But you know, tonight's game is worth two points, and it's against a, an Eastern Eastern Conference team. So it's very important. And how much hope does the Metropolitan Division give you? The way that it's sort of still within reach, third place, I think five points out. To be honest with you, I haven't looked much at the standings. It's, it's. I, I've been more concerned about our team and, and, and playing the way that we need to play, and, and getting that. I, it, you get your team to play the right way and, and doing the right things. The results tend to take care of themselves, and, and then hopefully the, the results are good enough. Is that Derek online that come back on uh, McKenzie come back on Friday? That was the initial thought. Uh, you know, I just uh, talked with Mike Vogt today. Again, I, I think we're still planning on Friday, but we may be looking at, at early next week as well.